uh, a thigh, a large thigh at the front. You would do the same thing to the back pant pattern because you're just adding total circumference and you're doing it pretty equally. We are going to do the slash method for this. Um, I just have to make sure that I'm doing it the right way. Oh, sorry, I'm moving on to a new page. I'm like, that is not how we do that. Okay, so this is gonna look very much like the slash method for a prominent or a receded pubic area. You're still gonna find that mark halfway between your hip line and your crotch line, right here on your seam line, and you're still gonna be drawing a line down here to somewhere through here. Except for, I need this space added right here, and I need this inseam to stay smooth, so we're gonna cut all the way to the knee. So, it's just gonna be a little triangular piece, You can freehand it if you want. Don't necessarily need the roller. I'm just gonna slash all the way down. And then I'm gonna put a relief cut down here in the corner so that my paper can pivot. I'm gonna still, we're doing for large thigh, we're still doing a quarter inch correction. So that means we're going to be increasing a quarter of an inch. So I am just going to first secure my pattern to my stationary paper so I know it's not going anywhere and that whatever mark I make isn't gonna shift right here in the thigh area where I determined that I need to make that large thigh adjustment. I'm gonna pay, just put a reference mark so I know how to push this, place this paper. And I'm gonna place this paper right on that line. That's it. Okay, so what did this just do? It increased our thigh, but what else did it do? Raised your crotch line. It extended our crotch line. If you have a large thigh on the inside right here, do you need a longer crotch curve? Probably, but not always. So what happens if you don't need the crotch length? Right, pivot it somewhere in here and pivot this piece back in, okay? Does that make sense? Almost always though, if you're having to elongate your crotch self, you almost always have to add into the thigh. They very rarely have to do one without the other. So if I did want to pivot this and not have it interfere with my crotch line, I could just pivot this back this direction. And then I'd have the same depth of crotch line, but I would still have this increase in the thigh area. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So I am going to tape it like this with the change. And then I would just true up my seam line, true up my cut line. I'd cut this out. This is going to be number 21. The large thigh at front. It was a quarter inch correction. It is the slash method. My name is Jen. This is a pant front and a size 10 half scale. 